In this video, we're going to introduce not only SQL, also known as NoSQL. So primarily, we're going to explore NoSQL using the MongoDB. So why MongoDB? Well, it allows us to store programmatic models closely to how they are modeled. So essentially, we just take the data and slap it in how we expect it to go in. So the data is stored as is. So that whole thinking that you learn with relational databases of creating tables, connecting the tables with foreign keys and primary keys, I want you to throw that logic out of your head because we're going to completely change the way that we approach storing data. So instead, we're just going to slap in the data as it is, and this allows for quick retrieval, but it's kind of a messy way of storing our data. It does optimize schema based on how the application will access the data. So you just drop in these documents, and there is no need to define the collection, which is essentially a table or the schema, because it will create it if it doesn't exist. Otherwise, it will just add it to the existing schema. You do not need the same number of fields for every document, so we dealt with null and not null columns. You could potentially have one document, and that document could have one column or it could have 15 columns. It doesn't really matter. Each document is independent of the total number of columns within a collection. It uses embedding and linking instead of joins, and transactions do not exist. The data still needs to be indexed so that it can be quickly retrieved. So how do you install MongoDB and connect to the Mongo database? Well, what you're going to do is install a MongoD server, which is going to use port 27017. You'll then use a shell to connect to this server to be able to type your queries to be able to interact with the database. Alternatively, you can use additional software such as Robo3T or Studio3T to be able to connect to the database. We'll be using my server as I built a custom way to interact with the MongoDB server that I've created. So from SQL to NoSQL, there are various terms that are going to be familiar, as well as some that are going to just change. The best way that I can say this is that they're synonymous in your way of thinking, but there is some differences between the two. So the SQL term database and schema refers to database in MongoDB. Table refers to collection. Index is index as well. Row refers to a document that we are putting inside of collections. Column refers to a field, and joining, we are going to use embedding and linking. So that is a basic introduction to NoSQL. See subsequent videos for actually interacting with this database.